So here's a quick look at the uh, DeSantis speed scabbards. These are holsters made uh, by DeSantis and uh, they come in these plastic bags and they ship them out to you. There's a little propaganda on the outside as well as on the inside. They talk about their product and how to take care of it and what not to do with it. So I've got two of them here. I ordered several examples from an online uh, dealer and because I did not really get a good idea from the photographs and the reviews of what you were actually getting. It's nothing like touching it, seeing it, feeling it, and seeing how it performs to really get a good understanding. Luckily, the company I deal with allows me to ship them back, but I hate doing that. Uh, it's just another hassle and waiting for your credit back to your card. So I'm doing this so you don't have to. So again, these are a couple of DeSantis' speed scabbards. And I'm not going to give the exact model, but you can see they're all pretty much the same. They'll have a little bit more at the top hip here or less. These are kind of their trimmed down versions. This actually is a little bit longer version, but this is for a different gun as well. So I've got two scabbards, both of a similar uh, type, and but for two different guns. This is for a CZ2075, and this one fits the uh, SIG 226 TAC Ops. So anyways... Let's get to the units themselves. They're very well form fitted. I think you can see, uh, even with my iPhone photographing this, that it uh, is molded exactly to your gun that you specify that you're looking at. And they say do not alter or change these, uh, you know, the shape. They don't mind you cutting a little bit off here if you want to shape them that way, but they're talking about the form fitting shape. These are designed to fit one gun or the guns they specify within that, that realm. So they don't want you uh, trying to change them and, and massage them with some, some kind of liquids or other chemicals to, to soften them up. You'll, you'll just lose what you paid for. You might as well just got a generic, cheap, uh, cheaper uh, holster. But these are actually inexpensive for the quality you're getting. I'm pretty happy with these. They, they hold their shape quite well. They're, they're stiff where they should be. And they're soft where they, sh they should be. So um, they'll form to your body, I thought, quite well. Uh, these are outside the waistband, of course. And I'll show you how this one fits with the, uh, the CZ gun here. So this gun has been safety checked. It's empty. I got an empty magazine. We'll put those in there. <clears throat> Give it a go. She slides in there quite nice. It's, a, of course, a retention holster. You've got an adjustment screw right here. This one's been broken and used. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, as it gets more used, use out of it. I'm sure this will slide out a little easier. Right now I've got it as loose as it goes, the retention screw here. And uh, it's still a little tight to get out. Not hard, but I mean, it's, it's, uh, I would like it a little looser when it's on your uh, waist and mounted with a belt. It seems to tighten up a little bit. Um, but I, it, as, as they break in, I've had them get a little looser and then you can tighten these screws back up to get them where you want it. Everybody kind of wants a little bit different. The main thing I like about these leather holsters is, is the comfort. Um, that's the main thing with a holster when you buy one. If it's not comfortable, you're not going to use it. And then if you buy a cheap one, they're just, they don't last. And I'm not going to tell you what kinds, but there are several that just don't last. They're not very well made. This is kind of the middle of the road in the cost. Um, I've got these on an incredible sale. And... Uh, they were very reasonable. I'm very happy with the, these holsters. So, <clears throat> anyways, the stitching is very heavy, thick, well done. There's no loose stitches, uh, no threads hanging out. Everything's been trimmed and form-fitted and, and uh, rounded and treated. All the edges of the leather, you can see, I hope, on this camera. But, uh, anyways, it's, it's very well made. I think this should last a long, long time. Again, it's got a good shape to it. It's hardened where it needs to be, yet it still holds its shape. So you've got two mounting areas here. You can mount it uh, at a 90 degree angle or you can get some forward cant to it. So uh, you can mount it a little bit farther back on your body and uh, get it uh, out of there quite easily. So anyways, again, I'm pretty happy with these. The uh, other one I have is for this SIG. This is quite a big gun. 20 uh, round magazine. 
that's a pretty good sized gun. So you can see though that there, there isn't much difference between these two. The basic design and shape is, is quite similar. And there's not much difference in the size of the holster. It's a little bit longer down here, about another inch or so. Maybe a little bit more. When I even up the top up here, you can see there's a little bit at the bottom. But other than that, the width is pretty much the same. This is quite a big gun in comparison to this, this little, little SIG here. But it, again, it fits in there quite well. I've worn this a couple times. It's pretty easy to carry. Again, I've got their attention down as low as possible. This one is not quite broke in yet. Uh, it's a little stiffer, a little harder to get the gun in and out. The only downside I've found so far on these uh, holsters is that this SIG has a big decocker. And I didn't realize how far it stuck out. It sticks out quite a ways. I mean, uh, I don't know, not quite a half an inch, but pretty close. And it likes to catch on the edge of this scabbard here. Not always, I'm training it to stay out. But uh, I'm trying to keep this flap open. But when, it, when the package came, this was compressed a little bit and this was kind of folded in, this edge of this portion here of the, of the holster. But uh, it, it's starting to stay out. If it doesn't, I'll just trim it off. If it doesn't want to stay where I want it to. But uh, again, got a good retention. They're uh, well made. Good stitching again. I, I can't say enough good things about these holsters. If you're thinking about getting a, a outside waistband holster, you want something that's fast, something that's comfortable, something you can use for IDPA, or you want to uh, do some concealed carry outside the waistband, I, I wouldn't hesitate to buy these. They're, they're very well made. Um, I, I just uh, can't find anything really bad about them. So if you're looking at one, try it.